Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blues Dot channel. Today I am back with another Sport Top Series episode. It's episode number 73 and today I'm actually going to be heading to the headquarters of Google as I'm going to be there to watch a Peninsula Soccer League match between Cleats on Fire versus San Jose Earthquakes PSL. Now, believe it or not, there is actually a soccer field right across from the headquarters of Google and that of course is where the venue of this game is going to be and also in terms of this matchup well you guys remember what happened last time hashtag cleats on fire was featured in my vlog well they basically made history books in my sports hop series but for the wrong reason as they can see that nine goals in that episode but Today, they are going to be facing another team that is in the bottom part of the table. And overall, this is kind of a bottom of the, well, bottom half of the table clash as San Jose Earthquakes PSL, I believe, are currently knife and Cleats on Fire is currently in seventh place. But let's see how this game is going to go. Hopefully, it doesn't get too scrappy because it is the bottom part of the table clash between both of these teams. Let's go soccer! So now we have just arrived at the headquarters of Google, which is actually over there. Well, actually this is not the main building, this is just one of the buildings. Actually there's more people than I anticipated. There's actually a guy over there that is getting picked up. But yeah, the stadium is going to be this way. So there is the stadium behind this fence and actually just a couple of seconds ago they just turned on the lights of this field. Over there you can see there's a couple of players are just getting ready to do their warm-up and changing into their soccer gear. There's also that lone spectator that is sitting and just waiting for this game to begin. So now it looks like both teams are on the pitch doing their pre-game warm-up. Uh, I'm not quite sure if these are the San Jose Earthquakes player or over there are the San Jose Earthquakes player. And the referee gets this match underway. San Jose Earthquakes PSL will be wearing their gray and black kit going from left to right while Cleats on Fire is going to go all black tonight. I believe they're going from left to right. Or actually right to left. But yeah, we are underway here at Google Plex. Gonna launch that ball in. And this could be a chance! And it's in the back of the net, but it's not going to count because the linesman raises flag immediately. I think that was offside. Oh, it's given away. And here comes the Quakes. And that one is going to go over. Oh, it's given away. And this could be problem for the Quakes. And... Unfortunately, that chip attempt by Cleats on Fire is not on target. Oh, and it's saved! Chance for Cleats on Fire! Oh, and it is blocked away there. And well, that was the best chance of the night there. As I don't know how in the world did Cleats on Fire not take the lead. Now they're going to take this corner quickly. Trying to nutmeg that player, which he does. And. There's another chance for them, and that is not going to count as the linesman raises flag. So looking to trying to pick his option here, and now he's going to play a ball, and the player's onside here, and it is going to be clear the way for a corner as that was a lovely kind of one-two there, but unfortunately, that player went wide, and the angle was pretty much against him, but we're a little bit over half hour in this game and it is still scoreless between San Jose Earthquakes PSL and hashtag cleats on fire and you know this match has been pretty much a typical kind of bomb of the table clash as both team have been very very poor especially going for where the execution are just not there for both of these teams they just could not quite find that crucial final ball but yeah we'll see how this Last couple of minutes will go. Let's see if we're going to get a goal here in the last 12 minutes. Uh, looking to try to play quickly, and that player this time is onside, and that is not a very good shot. Oh, and that's a bad mistake, and here comes Cleats on fire, and it is saved by the goalkeeper there as 
tell you what, that was almost a huge mistake by that defender and it's a, or the Quakes dodge a huge bullet there. It's gonna be a throw in here for Cleats on Fire. And that is the halftime whistle. Halftime here at Googleplex it is scoreless between San Jose Earthquakes PSL and Cleats on Fire. So it's halftime here as I'm now making my traditional walk to the other side of the field and it is scoreless here between San Jose Earthquakes versus Cleats on Fire. And other than the fact that both teams has been really poor going forward in terms of their execution of the final ball, um, there's been a lot of offside in this first half. I mean, the linesman was very trigger happy today to try to raise his flag and also there's been a lot of bad giveaway by both teams that it seemed like every time they have been able to get away with it so yeah we'll see how this second half is gonna go hopefully we're gonna get a goal here in the second half now both team are back on the pitch the referee are just about to get ready for the start of the second half well before we start the first half the referee has handed out a yellow car over here I don't know what is going on here. Well, I'll tell you what, this is something you rarely see happen when a guy can get a yellow car even before the first half actually begins, but that's what we have here. And referee gets this second half underway. Well, been a bit of a lengthy delay between the players and the referee to start the second half. I'm not quite sure what exactly it is, but there was actually two yellow card handed to those cleats on fire player. But yeah, it's all to play for here in the second half. Let's see who exactly is going to get that crucial goal. Oh, and here comes cleats on fire. It's going to go for distance, and that is going to be high and wide. Well, that's a good ball here on the right side. Well, he had option in the box there, but elected to go back, and now he's going to go for an ambitious effort that actually took a touch off the goalkeeper, and it's going to be a corner here for Cleats on fire. And again, is intercepted in the crucial part and now this one is going to go to the keeper and the keeper missed it and it's in the back of the net here from cleats on fire and what a goalkeeping howler that is from the quakes as that one was an absolute gift that was given to cleats on fire and just like that Unprecedentedly, we have the opening goal here as it is 1-0 in favor of Cleats on Fire. Here comes the Quakes. So we can try to maybe get the equalizer straight away and that's going to be a foul. And there's going to be a yellow car here. It looks like there is not going to be. Well, here comes a free kick and a great opportunity to, for the Quakes to restore parity and it is going to go over. Here comes the Quakes here. And this looks like a promising attack and what the referee says, penalty. The referee points to the spot and the Quakes are gonna get a penalty here and a chance to get the equalizer. Well, the Cleats on Fire player are not happy about that call, but the referee points to the spot. And the Quakes gets a chance to redeem themselves after that shocking howler a couple of minutes ago. Here's a chance to get the equalizer and that one is in the back of the net as the Quakes have equalized here straight away. And just like that it is now 1-1 between both teams and we're back at honors even here. It's on fire looking to work here on the left side and it is saved by the keeper and I think, if I'm not mistaken, looks like that Quakes player was trying to clear that one out, but instead he basically cleared it into his net and the goalkeeper basically just prevented that own goal. Meanwhile, here comes the Quakes on the other end and it's going to be easily saved by the keeper there. Here comes the delivery. It's a deep cut corner and it's in the back of the net for Cleats on fire as it is now 2-1.
Well, that's a lovely kind of deep cross, and that cleats on fire player basically blasts that one into the net, and just like that, cleats on fire retake the lead. It is now 2-1. Now, here comes cleats on fire on the break. It's gonna be 4v3 here, or 4v4. It's a cross driven in. And it's still in the box, and it's just wide there on the right side. And I'll tell you what, Cleats on Fire almost put this game away there, but as of now, it is still a one goal game. You got it, Standing next to the back. Oh, and here comes the Quags, and this is promising here. It's 2v2. Oh, he goes for goal there, even though he had option right there near the center, but. Instead, it is going to be a goal kick. Cleats on fire player basically just shoved that defender off the San Jose Earthquakes. And there it is. That is the full-time whistle. Full-time here at Googleplex. It is Cleats on fire 2, San Jose Earthquakes PSL 1. So it's finished here as I'm now back in the car and away from the cold. And in the end, it was Cleats on Fire with a 2-1 win over San Jose Earthquakes PSL. And overall, both of these teams in this game pretty much show you why exactly they are in the bottom half of the table. I mean, it was very scrappy all the time. Both teams look very bad going forward and also their defense at times giving the ball away in crucial situation and also we had probably one of the worst goalkeeping howler that has ever featured in the sports hop series committed by that san jose earthquakes psl goalkeeper but yeah either way guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time